Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air here, and what are we talking about today? We're talking about what books and information should you look at uh, for your pilot's license. Uh, and so I've got a little pile of things here I want to talk about. Also about some apps that I think are really important to have on your phone. Uh, so people are asking me, hey, when I come out and train, uh, what material should I be studying? And um, one thing is uh, there is a website called the Gyropedia. Gyropedia.com uh, is the website. And I think you can log on to that thing uh, for about, about a week or two for free and go through the syllabus and see all the lessons and all that. And then if you decide you keep it, I think the guy charges $149 for it. But it's pretty much um, most of the, the gyro places around the whole world use the Gyropedia as their syllabus for, uh, for training. So it's the one that we use and it's a pretty good one. We also have a supplemental guide, a book here uh, that we have for sale that lists everything on the Gyropedia. But um, everything on the website is in this book. Um, so you can use kind of either one that you want there. So I would recommend the gyropedia.com is the first thing. I like this background, by the way. Um, I don't even know what it is because uh, Jeremy picked it. And so hopefully I'm not like in prison or something. But um, anyway, uh, the next uh, piece of publication that uh, we have is uh, this you can get on Amazon and it's called the Private Pilot Checkride Preparation and Study Guide. And it's basically a Cliff Notes version of everything that you need to know um, uh, about uh, flying and airspace and all kinds of great things. It's a super, super good reference. I highly recommend this one. Private Pilot Checkride Preparation and Study Guide. Um, get this one, it's super good. Uh, then you're going to need a, a practical test standards for gyroplane. A lot of these take Jeremy on because these fall belong to Jeremy. But, um, it's Sport Pilot Airplane Gyroplane Glider and it's the uh, practical test standards. Pretty much exactly what the FAA examiner is going to do to you uh, to get your license. Um, it's, it's spelled out they can't do anything that's not in this book. So if you get the practical test standards and you look at it, you'll pretty much know uh, how your test is going to go. Um, including uh, the oral presentation too that you have to give uh, where they ask you questions about that. That's all listed in the PTS here. Um, of course, you need to have a FAR AIM book, Airman's Information Manual of Federal Aviation Regulation. Uh, get the latest one you can. This one's 2024 and um, it's kind of the Bible for pilots. They, they kind of know everything about FAA uh, procedures and all that is going to be in the FAR AIM book. Another one is the Rotorcraft Flying Handbook. It's an FAA publication and actually is online for free. Um, if you go, you ask for FAA H as in hotel, 8083-21, uh, and it's the Rotorcraft Flying Handbook. Now, half of this book is helicopter, and then that's the front half. The back half is gyroplane. So definitely look through this too as well, and uh, it'll give you pretty much uh, everything that you need to know about gyroplanes according to the FAA. Um, so those are the main books that I recommend that you guys look at. Also, uh, there's a couple of apps uh, on your phone that are really, really great. One is called Aero Weather, A-E-R-O Weather. And uh, it's a blue background and it's got like a, looks like a weather vane for a, um, uh, some kind of wind indicator on it. Um, and I think it's free uh, if you get. Uh, there's a free version and I think the expensive version is $1.99 or so. So Aero Weather is awesome. Um, and uh, what it does is you can list all the airports that are around your location. It'll tell you the weather, whether it's IFR, VFR, it'll tell you the cloud coverage. It'll tell you um, all kinds of great information. So we use that one quite often. The other one is called Ventusky, V-E-N-T-U-S-K-Y. And um, that I found is really awesome because it's a map of the area that you're in and you zoom in on it and it'll show you a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, being um, the temperature, the amount of rain, clouds, wind speed, wind gust, air pressure, thunderstorms. Um, and it's got a really great little time uh, indicator in the back. You can do it like right now, or you can go an hour for now, or two hours, or whatever, or several days in advance. And it's pretty dang accurate. Uh, so I highly recommend that one. And I believe that one might be free too, or $1.99 uh, and that's another one that you want to get. Also, guys, um, if you happen to be in the Wisconsin area, um, I'm about to head out to Oshkosh uh, for the big air show. And uh, I'm going to arrive on Tuesday. I'm going to be there uh, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, so come by the Auto Gyro booth. Uh, we're in the main area. And come say hi to me. 
and um, we can talk about gyro stuff if you want to. But um, I'll be there. I'll be wandering around the thing. But if you've never been to Oshkosh, it is pretty awesome. And uh, there's some great air shows and there's lots of seminars to attend. And there's going to be a ton of gyro stuff. All the gyro manufacturers will be there. So uh, come on out to Oshkosh and say hi to me and um, check it all out. You will not be disappointed. The other thing that we're working on too is uh, I'm working on uh, getting some financing for students. So if uh, you want to get your pilot's license and you're a little short on funds or whatever, um, I'm working on a finance plan uh, that you can get uh, through this uh, this organization. And um, I'm working on the details. Jeremy and I are working on the details right now. That'll come in a future video, but it's financing for your training is what it's for. Um, basically, you can figure this. If you're going to have 20 hours of training, um, you have 15 hours of dual instruction that you have to fly with me or another instructor, and then five solo hours. This is all at a minimum. And so it has to be a total of 20 hours, uh, and then you're eligible to take the test from the FAA. Now, most of the students, when we get to 20 hours, I say, hey, are you guys ready to take your test? And they go, ah, I want to do a couple more hours of takeoff and landings. It's totally up to you. It's a mutual decision between you and I uh, if you feel like you're ready to take the test. And if you're ready, then uh, you can go do it. That's for a primary instruction, someone who's never flown anything before, it's 20 hours. And again, you guys know if you're already a pilot, even a fixed wing pilot, it's an add-on to your fixed wing license or your rotorcraft license. And uh, there's no hourly requirement, it's just a proficiency check for your sport pilot rating. So basically you come out here, train until you know what you're doing, and then we wanna make sure you're nice and safe. And then uh, one instructor such as myself would train you, my other instructor, Pete, he could sign you off. And so there's no uh, DPE check ride. It's just two instructors, we can get you signed off. And uh, so I'm having guys complete that anywhere between at five hours to 15 hours is pretty much the average. And then you're pretty proficient on the gyro plane. We don't cut anybody loose until they're ready because I don't want people going out there and, and not being prepared. But um, yeah, if you already have a pilot's license, you can figure, figure five to two 15 hours and uh, you can get that. When you do get the gyro plane add-on rating, it does count as a biannual flight review for those of you who need a biannual flight review as well. Okay guys, also too, if you have a question for me, let's say you're watching this video on your television at home and then you can't fill out information down below like you can on your phone, uh, here is our email address. It is adventureairla at gmail.com. And I read all of these that pop up on the site. So adventureairla at gmail.com ask me any questions that you want uh, or put a comment down and uh, email us and I'll be happy to answer anything that you guys want to talk about. All right guys, so um, again, uh, hopefully we will see you at Oshkosh, but if you are in the Southern California area, uh, come by the Chino Airport. Uh, we're here pretty much seven days a week and I'd love to talk to you and take you for a gyro ride. Uh, but until then, we will see you at Oshkosh uh, from Tuesday and through the Sunday and um, we'll have a great time. So. Until next time, see ya!